Did you know C++ cannot store references inside the vectors? Like we have vector here and if I just give you integer here and then ask vector to store x and y inside them as reference so that when we will modify the content inside the vector then this x and y will get modified. But without this reference wrapper you can't do that. So that's why they have implemented this reference wrapper and this video is about this and you have to pass this std reference and not only reference wrapper, you will use std reference also so that you will tell, okay, I'm trying to push back access reference. Okay. And then in this for each function, I'm just incrementing x and y by five. And let me show you the output. Compile this and run this. So see it is 15 and 25. So if you notice here, it is 10 and 25. So incremented by five. Cool, right? If you learn something new today, then don't forget to hit the like button, man. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye-bye. Take care.